Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing stages your dumper will go through. I provide audio coaching for breakup recovery, trying to get an ex back, attracting someone new and life coaching. Visit www.dateme.tips for more details. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. Check out my socials for extra content. The links are in the description. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing stages your dumper will go through. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, you will want to know the thoughts, feelings and experience of your ex. In today's podcast, I'll be discussing three stages that your dumper will go through. So let's get straight into this, and point number one is the beginning. So first of all, we need to start at the beginning. And the beginning is that your dumper wasn't your dumper. You were in a loving relationship. They would have felt a high level of romantic emotional attraction towards you, just as you would have felt the same towards them. If you didn't, then you wouldn't have been in a loving relationship, which of course you were. So we can tell that you both felt a high level of attraction for one another and things for a while at least would have been going very well. Maybe you're listening to this and thinking, well, things were going very well for a very long time, maybe decades. So it doesn't really matter whether we are talking weeks, months, years or decades. You would have been going through a positive time together. But unfortunately your soon-to-be ex started to lose romantic emotional attraction towards you. Now, this could be for various potential reasons, and I can't predict through this generalised podcast what that may have been, but we can say that, unfortunately, this high level of attraction that your ex dumper was feeling for you at the time of the relationship, well, sadly, it started to decline, because if they didn't drop attraction, this relationship would still be going. So we can see that you both felt a high level of attraction towards one another and then sadly the attraction started to drop from how your ex dumper started to feel towards you. But what you might not realise is that you may also have been going through a similar drop. You might be thinking, I really want my ex back, I want them more than anything and you might be clouding your mind to the fact that you were also losing attraction. Try and take your mind back. Try and think back to when your relationship was still going. Were you completely happy? Did you actually ever have a moment yourself where you nearly ended a relationship? Lots of dumpees have that experience that they block in their mind because sadly they are the one who have been dumped. They have been rejected. You as a dumpy are now feeling those horrible feelings which are very similar to a combination of of grief and drug withdrawal. You are not feeling good right now and therefore you're looking at things from a skewed perspective. You're not likely looking at things as they were. And quite often, the dumpy was actually losing attraction as well as the dumper. The difference was that the person who was to become the dumper actioned the breakup. And this is where we start to move forward, still during the beginning stage of what we would say your ex dumper will go through, But we get to that moment, that moment of where the line has been crossed and your relationship partner became your expert dumper. They action the breakup because the level of romantic emotional attraction that they felt towards you hit the necessary low point. When it hit that low point, they action the breakup. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it happens instantaneously. Often dumpers will think long and hard weeks, if not months, before taking this decision. And this is why some people might say, when someone checks out, they actually checked out a long time ago. Very few people will action a breakup instantaneously of a level of romantic emotional attraction hitting that low point. The exceptions to this rule are generally if you, as a dumpy, cheated on your now ex. If you cheated on your partner, they find out, they instantly dump you. That is an example of where it did happen instantaneously. However, a lot of the time, your now expert dumper would have thought long and hard before taking that action, 
even though the level of attraction had sadly dropped to the low point a long time ago, certainly weeks, if not months ago, which is why when somebody checks out of a relationship, they can't be persuaded. You can't persuade someone to not end a relationship because they ended it in their mind a long time ago. It's not like they've just decided to end it. They've thought long and hard. They've spoke to lots of people, potentially. Maybe they just thought about things in their own mind, but they've moved things over. It's gone back and forth in their thought process, and they've only just now come to that decision. So for you to say, hey, you know, we shouldn't split up because of A, B, and C, it's unlikely to help because they came to this decision months ago, and they've had all of this back and forth in their own mind. The devil and the angel on either shoulder, you could say, talking to themselves, maybe speaking with others, coming to that conclusion, you now saying your piece is unlikely to change things around. I still suggest you do. At the time of a breakup, done peace should say their piece. They should explain their thoughts and feelings as to why this relationship shouldn't end. And maybe there could be instances where the dumpy needs to apologise and explain how things can be better moving forward. But once the dust has settled, I do not believe the dumpy should be taking that stance at that point. From then on, the dumpy should be leaving their ex for dumper to move forward with their own life. And that might sound scary, but once the dust has settled, you can't try and reason, beg, plead, explain. You can't do any more. If you do that, you are chasing and you are likely to make things even worse. So once the dust has settled, your ex the dumper will be starting to live their life without you and you will be starting to live your life without them. My suggestion, even if you want your ex back, is to, in most instances, never contact your dumper again unless they contact you first. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast. Please like this video if you're watching on YouTube. And if you have the new hype feature, please hype this video as well. If you like my content, subscribe to the channel to keep updated. And point number two is dreams don't always end happily. Now this isn't actually regarding you as a dumb pee. You might be thinking I'm talking to you right now, but dreams don't always end happily because surely you got into this relationship with dreams, but it would last forever. And sadly, right now, things, well, they're not looking too happy for you. But no, I'm not actually speaking to you as a dumpy right now. I'm speaking about the dumper, but dreams don't always end happily. And it is on two fronts. Firstly, we have to recognize that when they got into the relationship, they also would have had dreams. It would last forever. So similarly to what I've just said, you as a dumpy will be thinking, they would have thought as well. Your expert dumper would have got into the relationship, likely with the best of intentions, hoping it would last forever, and sadly, it didn't. Just because they action for breakup does not mean that they feel good about it. It doesn't mean that they're happy. It doesn't mean that they're over the moon and celebrating that this relationship is over. Likely deep inside, they're very, very sad that this hasn't worked out. They're not doing it to punish you most of the time. They're not doing it to be cruel most of the time. They're doing it most of the time because they don't feel this relationship is moving forward in a way which is fulfilling, satisfying, or something that they can see will take them forward in the future. So that is on one front as for why your ex the dumper may have had dreams that don't always end happily. But the other side of this coin is something very interesting. And I refer to this as the single honeymoon period. Now, your ex dumper has ended the relationship. That was the beginning. They've ended the relationship and they're now starting to live their life without you. They're living their life as a single person. Now, I know some of you might say, well, my ex instantly monkey branched to someone else. Well, although that is obviously somewhat of a different dynamic, I would suggest that they are still living a life that they felt they couldn't with you. Unfortunately, it's with someone else right now. The good news is that this new relationship is not necessarily likely to last all that long, but that is a story for a different podcast. The point being that most dumpers will end the relationship and move into something which I call the single honeymoon period, which basically is a period of time that they are going to live their life in a way that they felt they couldn't within the relationship with you. Now, maybe, unfortunately, that does involve them dating someone else. Maybe instantly, 
or maybe a little while down the line, they meet someone, they start dating. But as I've just said, the good news is for you, Dumpies, as this is unlikely to last forevermore. New relationships formed within a year or so post-breakup of your longer relationship are very unlikely to last forevermore. So try to relax as much as you can, Dumpies. I can't guarantee your ex won't be with this person forever, but statistically, it's not likely. So let's try and hope that this is on your side. So we see the dumper living their single life, doing things they couldn't do within the relationship. Maybe that's dating, like I said, but often it's doing things such as spending time with friends, maybe friends that they'd lost touch with during your relationship for various possible reasons. Maybe it's new experiences. Maybe they've gone traveling. Maybe they're doing things that they just couldn't do with you because either you didn't want to do them or the relationship meant that the responsibilities prevented them from doing things they really wanted to do. Whatever the situation, at first, your ex dumper is likely living the dream. They're doing what they want to do. They're doing the things they thought and felt would make them happy. It's exciting, it's new, it's shiny. These are the things which make them feel they are living the dream. But as time ticks by, everything which is shiny starts to become more rusty and less exciting. Everything which was once new starts to become old. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means that we can't live a life doing whatever we want to do and think it's going to last forever in that same way. Everything evolves and changes. And if they're going through this wonderful existence, when sadly, this dream is not likely to end happily for them. Single life can be tough. Finding a new long-term relationship partner is tough. I've already said if they meet someone new, it's not likely to be lasting forever because it's very hard to find a long-term compatible partner. It's not easy. You're finding that right now, dumpies, unfortunately. They will also find it. So they might think they're going to live their life, do their thing, and live happily ever after with a brand new person that they think is going to fulfill them more than you. Well, the truth is, they're going to find it very hard to find that person. The truth is, the things that they are finding very exciting to do right now will lose their shine after a number of months. This tends to be six to 12 months or so. That is the single honeymoon period as I see it. Six to 12 months on average are where they live their life in a way where it seems exciting and fun at first, but then it starts to feel more mundane, old, and it really starts to lose its appeal because the things which they were enjoying are no longer as enjoyable. The hopes and dreams they had don't seem to actually be taking place. And this is where that dream sometimes starts to turn into a bit of a nightmare. It certainly doesn't always end happily. Now, if you would like advice and support about how to try and increase the chance of one day getting your ex back, then you may want to consider my audio coaching service, where me and you can speak one-on-one -on -one about your unique specific situation. Go to my website, www.dateme.tips, for more information about how I can become your coach and your teammate via my audio coaching service. Talking about your feelings can also improve your mental health. It helps prevent the buildup of negative emotions, which can lead to stress, anxiety, depression, and even physical health issues. Speak your heart to free your mind. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast. If you feel that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. And point number three is fork in the road. Now, this is the moment, Dumpies, where your expert dumper has to make a choice. They have to make the choice to either proceed on the path they are on right now, or alternatively, to look back and to potentially try and reconnect with you. Now, it might not seem as black and white or as obvious to your ex, but I'm breaking it down to what it ultimately means. What we see here is at the end of a single honeymoon period, most dumpers are feeling a level of disillusion. They're feeling like the choices they have made have not fulfilled them as much as they would have hoped. They've ended a relationship with someone who likely loved them, i.e. you, and they are not with anybody new right now who makes them feel anywhere near what you two had at one time. Okay, it didn't end well, but they haven't found anyone to give them even that, let alone more, which is what they were hoping for. Now, obviously, I can't speak for every single person, and unfortunately, some dumpers 
will come through this period of time feeling happy with their choices. But from my research, most won't be comfortable in that six to 12 months post breakup. They will have a moment, a fork in the road. What do they do? They're starting to self-reflect. They're starting to look back and think, was the life I gave up all that bad? Was the life I gave up something I should have given up? My dumb pee loved me and now I'm with no one. I don't feel any love right now. So was that a bad choice? Now your ex for dumper might not be necessarily thinking, right, I want to get back together right now, but they might just be thinking, I want to reach out to my dumb pee. I want to reach out and see how they are. And those thoughts and feelings can grow and develop depending on your interaction if and when it happens. But the only reason your ex for dumper will even choose this fork in the road is if you as a dumpy have lived your life the right way. But if you've lived a negative life, if you've chased, harassed and bothered your ex for dumper, if you've caused your ex for dumper to think, actually, I've made the right decision, my dumpy was not right for me, and post breakup, they're just making things even more clear in my mind that I've made the right choice. If you as a dumpy live your life like that, then when your dumper gets to the fork in the road, even if they're not fully fulfilled right now, They'll be thinking, yeah, you know, I'm going to continue living my life this way because it is better than what it was with my dumpy. It is better than what my dumpy could offer me because I can see that from the fact that they are bothering, annoying and frustrating me post breakup. So if you chase your ex, you are more likely to chase them down the path of continuing their new life once they get to the fork in the road. If alternatively dumpies, you live your life in a positive way, focusing on you, becoming a version 2.0 of yourself, using the hints, tips and strategies, but I suggest try and increase the chance of one day getting your ex back. If you do that, well, there is every opportunity, but at the fork in the road, your ex for dumper will think, I think I've made a big mistake. You know, I'm not sure if I should be reconnecting with my dumpy, but I really want to reach out to them. I don't know what they're doing right now, I'm starting to miss them. I'm thinking they're probably living a better life than I am. I, I want to reach out. I want to see how they are. I'm going to send a message. And that is where the dumper could get to the fork in the road and decide to reach out to you, the dumpy. Now, this doesn't mean you've got your ex back instantaneously, but it certainly means there is opportunity for you to grow this in a way where you can get to that point. So if your ex reaches out to you, congratulations. Welcome to the communication stage. You are one step closer to getting your ex back.